Of town field trips and sporting events canceled across most of North Carolina, but Cumberland County schools still in session for now. CBS 17's Kayla Strainer joins us live in Fayetteville with the latest information parents need to know. Kayla. Yeah, so the school board had an emergency meeting today voting to give the superintendent the power to do all things necessary to keep COVID-19 out of the schools, including closing schools if necessary. That hasn't happened yet, but we continue to follow this as this national emergency continues. This sign is being put up outside of all Cumberland County schools today, asking people about their recent travel history, any flu-like symptoms they might be having, and if they've had any contact with someone who's had symptoms of COVID-19. And if they answered yes to any, we're just politely asking them not to enter the building. We want them to see their health care provider. Associate so, Superintendent Lindsay Whitley says 50,000 letters are going home with students today, letting them know the latest ways to keep kids safe during this pandemic. Have you ever been through anything like this? I've never been through anything like this. Um, we're certainly in uncharted waters, but I think keeping in touch with our health officials and following their guidance and just constantly updating our community, those are some of the things we're trying to do to make it as smooth as possible. Today it's business as usual at Manchester Elementary in Spring Lake, but the district is preparing for the possibility of having to close schools. They're looking at distance learning options, including online classes classes and informational packets, plus how to potentially feed students who rely on school breakfast and lunch. And we're preparing for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. Again, as of right now, Cumberland County Schools have not made the decision to close down schools at all, but that could change. They do have a specific link on their website. We're going to give that information to you on CBS17.com. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS17 News.